Dr. Yu Her, legendary bionic engineer, inventor, and rock climber. Seven success facts to fuel your success. Number one. Yu Her grew up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the youngest of five children. Yu's father consistently reminded all of his children of the importance of persistence and passion in order to do a job well and be proud of doing it. Number two. Yu was captivated by rock climbing after seeing it on TV. Hugh and his siblings were so inspired, they got their hands on a rock climbing how-to manual and they started teaching themselves how to rock climb. As the youngest of five, Hugh didn't want to be left behind, so he always made extra efforts to stay ahead of his siblings when they were on their adventures. Number three. Summer trips to the mountains became a tradition for the Her family, visiting the American and Canadian Rockies, Yukon Territory, and Alaska. Hugh liked to imagine he was a hobbit on a journey, just like he'd read in J.R.R. Tolkien's book, The Hobbit, and The Lord of the Rings. By the age of eight, Hugh scaled Mount Temple's 11,627-foot mountain peak in Alberta, Canada. By age 10, Hugh was conquering routes that previously only adults had climbed. By the age of 13, he was scaling rocks that adults had never climbed. Hugh's passion for climbing left him with little interest in school, in high school, he enrolled in a vocational academy so he could have more time to climb during the day. His goal was to be the best mountain climber in the world. In January of 1982, Hugh and his friend Jeff Batzer headed to Mount Washington, New Hampshire, and started their climb of Odell's Gully in the early morning. They scaled the gully quickly, accomplished their original plan, and decided to make a dash for the summit. But their luck turned, Heavy snow suddenly settled into the area, compounded by 100 mile per hour winds and bone chilling wind chill. The storm made visibility almost impossible. Hugh and Jeff became disoriented and they couldn't find their way back down. They trudged through waist deep snow, desperately trying to find their way. To make matters even worse, they'd left their overnight gear behind to lighten their load while climbing. Without any protection, they made shelters with branches and hugged each other for warmth. Search crews were dispatched, and tragically, Albert Dow, a member of the New Hampshire Mountain Rescue Service, died in an avalanche trying to find the boys. Still lost after three days, hope was gone, and you and Jeff had stopped hugging each other for warmth, resigned to their fate. Miraculously, far from where search crews had looked, a snowshoer saw tracks in the snow and followed them. The lone snowshoer did what many others failed to do. She found Hugh and Jeff. They were later taken off the mountain by helicopter. Number four. After the rescue, Hugh's doctors were unable to save his legs, which had suffered severe frostbite, and both of Hugh's legs were amputated below his knees. When Hugh received his prosthetic legs made of plaster of Paris, they were so ineffective, he couldn't believe it. In his mind, he was still a climber, and he had to find a way to continue to pursue his passion. With the help of his prosthetists, Yu began to design prosthetics that he could actually use for climbing. Number five. After graduating from high school, Yu enrolled at Millersville University in Pennsylvania and majored in physics. He also started working with Barry Gosselinen, a prosthetist working on solving the problem of pain when prosthetics rubbed against limbs with hydraulics. In 1990, Hugh and Barry were awarded a patent for their design for their prosthetic socket. Number six. Hugh earned his master's at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and a PhD at Harvard. Today, Dr. Herr is Professor of Media Arts and Sciences at the MIT Media Lab, and he co-leads the Yang Center for Bionics at MIT. Herr's ultimate goal is bold and ambitious, and, which he is actively achieving, he wants to create bionic limbs that emulate the function of natural limbs. His innovative work earned him the title of Leader of the Bionic Age from Time Magazine. 
Time Magazine also recognized her in 2004 and 2007 as one of the top 10 inventions of those years, respectively. Number 7. In 2008, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society awarded her with the Spirit of Da Vinci Award, honoring his courage, perseverance, and creative use of assistive technology. After Adrian Hazlett Davis, a professional dancer, lost her leg in the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing, her and his team at MIT designed a prosthetic leg that not only allowed Adrienne to dance professionally again, her new prosthetic leg, courtesy of Dr. Her, made it possible for Adrienne to compete in the 2016 Boston Marathon, only three years after the tragic event. Her's research at MIT is now endorsed by the United States Department of Defense. Her's technology is so effective and groundbreaking. Through the Veterans Association, wounded soldiers and veterans are eligible to receive reimbursement for the Empower, the first robotic-powered ankle foot prosthesis, allowing veterans and soldiers to continue to lead productive lives long after their sacrifices for their country. If you made it this far, hit the like button to let us know you want more content like this. Like and share with the ambitious in your life. And check out the SDH Legend Library in the description below. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Learn from legends. Be legendary.